Hey everyone, it's Mike. Uh, never really actually done any commentary over my speed uh, painting videos, but this time I wanted to do that. So I'm drawing a bad girl. It's a commission, so I'm actually streaming this and recording it at the same time. Uh, as you can see, my layer underneath was like a really blurry kind of uh, blobby stuff. That's how I find the pose and just, and just like uh, make a new layer and just hone in the pose at the very end. I end up adding some details that I don't actually, uh, you know, do it at all. Here I go, uh, making the the line art. Yeah, I take a lot of time actually making my line art. Uh, the usually I just make it, uh, you know, the, the thicker outlines uh, from the outside and the thinner from the inside. It's much better that way. Don't be afraid of editing your line arts uh, with your transform tools. It's kind of actually, um, you know, kind of easier than just drawing again and again. It's better than that way, dudes. Like, here I go, drawing the line arts. Uh, my main thing that I, uh, the, the main uh, principle that I use uh, while drawing the line, line art is actually just follow the sketch. Just because the sketch usually contains a lot of gestures that you want to actually uh, just uh, carry on into the the main picture. So in order to make it, to, to carry this, all of this into the picture, you, you just gotta you gotta follow the the sketch, you know, because uh, you know otherwise it wouldn't wouldn't look as good. So I really take my time to uh, check everything and just follow all of the shapes um, and um, you know all the ge gestures and movements to carry them over from the sketch to the uh, line art. And then, just, just uh, further into uh, the finished product, you know, picture, not a product, not a businessman, am I? So here I am, just lining art, line, just doing the line art. Hands, hands are pretty hard. I like if you can't do hands uh, very well, it's okay. Not everyone can do hands very well. I don't do hands very well, honestly. You may think it's good, but it really isn't. I was just like, uh, most of the times when I draw hands, I just, I, I just go with it. I, I don't care like how they look. I just fucking go with it. If it's a hand, it's a hand. Like I don't care. Um, anatomy is really important. Yeah, even even in this kind of picture, I wanted to like kind of vary it up a, bit, a little bit, you know, make her hand, head big and her rest of the body small and lanky and stuff. I mean, anatomy is the thing that, that, that has like aesthetics and its principles, you know, so you gotta follow the anatomy and that way you'll follow the general aesthetics that you can see that me, I'm just struggling with it. You know, I, I don't do things like in an atom anatomical way, like I, even like the most magical creatures and furries and shit, they follow some point, some rules of anatomy, right? You, you gotta make, you gotta make some limbs resemble our own. So that that's what I'm doing here. Um, I'm just reshaping stuff, remanaging things. Um, you know, ignore the chat window at the very top. Uh, it's my blunder. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I don't. I go. I go here. I go over some uh, some sneakers, sneaker types. This one I made too small and too little, and I didn't like that, so I just fucking deleted it and. Don't don't be afraid of um, 
starting over again, you know? I started over again, like, especially on the feet a couple of times. So it's okay to start over again. But you have to not get discouraged and just really um, try and um, make it worth your time, you know. Here I am struggling with the feet. Feet are hard. The only way to learn feet is to learn them, whether you like it or not. Soon enough, I'll be ready with line art, and I'll start coloring. And coloring is kind of, kind of tricky. I have actually used um, Doxy's way of coloring, uh, the one he described in his like tutorials and stuff. In here, in this particular piece, because I wanted to find out how how good it is. Like I never really used it before. Before I just used like separate layers for separate colors and just like you know uh, adds like uh, darker color and and then highlights and stuff like that here he uses like a weird setup with uh, luminosity and uh, shade layers um, uh, to color a grayscale picture which is really weird but it adds some really nice kind of uh, very fluffy colors that I think I, I think it really does um, I'm just making a wing because I forgot about wings at all like I was like oh yeah I'm done with it and here I, I will uh, edit the head make it a little bit smaller don't be afraid of that like if you can see that everything if the head's a bit too big, just fix it, you know, just go ahead, fix the head. Uh, don't be afraid of that. Uh, add some fur, details, stuff like that, recolor it. Alright, there we go. Now we start We start off coloring this stuff. I, I tried to make a mug, uh, like, yeah, whatever, dude. Like, I didn't want to do that. So I started... I started off by selecting everything around my uh, line art and filling in the, like inverting the selection and filling in the actual everything else. Here I'm just applying some shadows on the top of this um, layer which I made with, with inverted selection. I just, I'm just applying like a, a luminosity, like uh, a layer which has a lower luminosity than than the actual base color, but it doesn't have. But it must be not as low as your line art, just so it wouldn't look weird, right? Just keep it like in the middle, in the middle of uh, a bit higher, but in, somewhere in the middle between the the color of your line art and the color of your base color, right? Um, just so shadows wouldn't be too dark. Uh, we wouldn't want that. Uh, making shadows too fucking dark is, is a bad idea. Uh, here I apply shadows. Yes. I don't know. I don't have any theory about applying shadows. I just apply shadows. Uh, don't be afraid of um, breaking some immersion or something like that. Not, not giving something a shadow or giving... Uh, Shadows, a lot of volume. Uh, don't be afraid of that. Uh, it, as long as something is aesthetically pleasing, um, it, it all be will be fine. Here, I'm just trying out this weird setup with the luminosity and shade. Like I was like, what the hell is this layer doing to my colors? What well, what do I do? Here, I had a good idea. Like just make everything monochrome and just like uh, try try colors. And I was like, whatever, dude. Let's 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 try again. Let's try it. Uh, I just apply the color and then I pull up the um the hue and. Uh, luminosity and saturation uh, thing uh, from the tools and actually manually manually control the color and that in in such a way I stumbled upon the right color that I felt like it was right uh, don't be way too strict about colors colors are relative colors rel are relative like once you pick a color you can pick around that color around the first color 
in order to make a palette that 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 looks fine. Uh, I started off with uh, this palette. Uh, I've actually applied an um, overlay layer uh, underneath the colors layer. Um, you know, just added some masks and stuff. So that's how. That's why it has a really nice uh, magenta hue, which is really cool. I picked picked up another color. Uh, I just guessed the color, and I, it turned out to be okay. So yeah, here you'll see me again selecting the thing and like manually controlling it with the you know with the hue and saturation luminosity sliders. Uh, it's the basically the process of like coloring now. Uh, it's what the Doxy I guess does. It's he just he just like uh, apply applies color and then manually controls the the color uh, in order to get the desired result. Uh, I can see it working quite well. Um, I like it. Like it creates some really nice colors, as you can see. Like, like the yellows really pop out. Like, I really tried to make it a little less saturated or something, or I couldn't get the middle ground. It was either like it's really mute, or like it pops out like crazy. Um, you know. So yeah, it's just me like searching for colors, applying colors. Uh, one main thing that I use, a trick, is like, once I get like about four or three colors in, I try not to get uh, involved with more colors. Like, I use already pre-existing colors from my character to color the uh, rest of the stuff around the, the, the character, like their, their clothes, their objects that they have, like you can see that the nails actually match the skirt, uh, you'll see that the hair will actually match the phone, um, and the only like uh, original color is the phone, and also this ugly stuff is the problem, the main problem of this uh, style of um, coloring uh, is when like you select you want to make a really dark color but you you really can't because a shade of luminosity uh, completely destroys colors on the on the lines if, if the color if, if the color color <laughs> if the coloring color is too dark you know if if he got me it's just me rambling uh, yeah here I'm searching for a color for some sneakers. I just pick up green. I don't know, whatever. Green's fine. As you can see, I left the grayscale uh, layer underneath, and it now acts as my white color. Uh, it's a really nice uh, way of like showing, of, like, like cheating your way into like white color. I'm adding some. Uh, new layers of overlay and screen uh, screen and overlay uh, makes mostly overlays just to make uh, make colors pop in 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 certain uh, places it's not just a static uh, filter that i applied no it's it's uh, it's actually some brush strokes and like it has some places where it's more prominent and less prominent uh, here I'm applying some um, indirect lighting, uh, yeah, just to make uh, everything look like it's actually 3D objects. So yeah, uh, yeah, I'm just messing about with the layers. Like here I'm trying something weird. Decided to scrap that. Just, just added some dark color to my eye just to just to make it look good well yeah I just, just yep resized it made, made a simple abstract background by picking up the a color I guess I think of a sweater and then 
and then I changed it. All right, the, the video ended. So thank you for watching. I'll see you around. I hope I wasn't too rambling. Ramblish. Bye.